Unfortunately, this is beyond my skill level. Can't open the lock or break it. Gonna need the combination. You have any idea where we should start looking? Nah, not really. I barely even remember my dad. He disappeared when I was a kid. Never really even saw him here. Do you have any memories of your dad? Well, he was gone a lot. Traveling. But yeah, I mean, like, when he was home, I remember the stories he would tell me. <laughs> Crazy shit. And he'd make me a lot of drawings, just things to make me laugh, doodles and stuff. He'd do it anywhere. I remember right when I started working here, I even found one of his doodles on the wall. On a wall? Maybe more than just a doodle. So this is where your father worked? Yeah. I mean, looks nothing like. Desk was taken out a long time ago by someone, looted, or... I don't know. But, yeah. This is where he worked. What about all his tools? They're gone too. Most. But I found a box in his room which probably had his favorites, and... He had a locker that I never cracked. Let me take a look at the tools and locker. All right, I'm gonna start combing the place. Maybe we'll find something. Lead the way. Can't open the lock or break it. Gonna need the combination. Your old friend Mark apparently made drawings that diagrammed how he improved his rover. They gotta be around here somewhere. You ever talk to you about them? No, I don't believe him. That was some time ago. But, but I do recall his rover undergoing massive changes at some point. Vaguely, like a fuzzy, hazy dream. Where did he used to put his valuables? Oh, Zachariah, I'm not... I'm not sure he had valuables. Not, at least not in financial terms. Valuable with memories, perhaps? Those things he put in the locker. If I recall correctly. You ever look inside that locker, Amelia? No, I just... No. It had a big lock with a code on it. Never knew how to get in, and after a while, I just forgot about it. Also felt like going through his stuff was kind of acknowledging he was never coming back. Maybe I can break it open. Do you remember where he'd put his tools and drawings? Mark was... was private and, and protective of his stuff. Didn't like people nosing around. And since he always had people visiting his shed, he would, he would take things, tools and things, into his bedroom when they came. I always found it curious why someone would want to sleep with a screwdriver, but to each his own. Right. Well, maybe they're still in there. I'll head back and check the shed. Who knows? Maybe I'll get lucky and find something. Well, yes, it is a very large shed. I'm sure you will find something, even if, if not something you're looking for. I know you didn't know him that well, and it was a real long time ago, but if you could remember anything... I'm trying, Zack. I'm doing my best. Maybe he used you, or your mom's birthdays, or their anniversary, or something like that. You really think I didn't already try all those? Seriously? Give me a little credit. What else was important to your dad, other than his family? He was a reacher, so traveling in his rover. <laughs> I remember that rover. Remember one time we wrote this little mantra he had on the dashboard. What was it? I don't know, it was so... Something about time and exploration. 
something about every soul being too short to explore all of Mars, but how each soul still brings a new discovery. Or something like that. Well, a soul's a Martian day. That's 24 hours, 39 minutes, 35 seconds. Worth a try? All right, I'm gonna start combing the place. Maybe we'll find something. Lead the way. Worked. Locker's open. Just needed to enter the duration of a soul. All for a single key. Not a damn clue what it even goes to. Unfortunately, this is beyond my skill level. I know you didn't know him that well, and it was a real long time ago. I'm trying, Zack. I found this key. Any idea what it could open? Nah, never needed a key like that in here. No idea what it would open. Already opened the shed safes. What about another shed? Any chance he had more than one? There are only two rover sheds in all of Ophir. The other one belongs to the Watchers, though, who have their own explorers, so we never even had access to that one. Your dad have any other safes? Maybe some got moved. I don't know. I don't think so. I feel like if he had, I'd have gotten them when I took over the shed. You find any locks you couldn't open? Couldn't find a key for? Nah, but let me see the key. Yeah, no, never seen this before. But what the hell's this drawing on it? Fuck him and his old drawings. Looks like the same one that was on his wall, though, doesn't it? Let's go take a look. If it is, it's probably not a coincidence. Amelia, there was a map of the shed, with his tools. Weird. It's not even close to the same shape. Like it was bigger back then. Don't remember any construction being done on it, though. Always just remember it how it is now. Perhaps, and I am just, might Mark not have built a secret room in a corner of the shed? One in which he might have hid some more sensitive work, or maybe a favorite food. I don't remember him having a favorite food or anything, actually. That's where your mind goes? A secret room for secret food? Now you've officially fucking lost it. When all likely things are ruled out, the only other options are the unlikely. I've got nothing to lose by at least poking around to see. Who knows? May even find this secret room.
This drawing's hiding some sort of slot. Maybe it's a lock? Mark was quite the jester. He had the audacity, built a secret room in one of the army's sheds and hid a lock in one of his doodles. Oh, what a bold man. He was always the cooler one. His notes are pretty detailed about this icebreaker. He even lists all the materials needed to build it. I should be able to find them. Oh, and there's a drawing of the whole rover here. That's perfect! I can retrofit the front of my rover and just attach the icebreaker right to it. That brings something to my... Should we not perhaps insulate the machine as well, considering the horrifically low temperature conditions at the pole? Yeah, probably why he added a special coating to the shell. Some kind of light, flexible plate, if I'm reading the notes right. Doesn't say the exact material he used, though. Says how he attached it, but not what it's made of. It calls to mind the abandoned dome. All those boxes of insulation lying about. You remember? Perhaps we could... Hmm... More consideration, at the least. Yeah, that's... My dad's drawing, I could probably adapt him to the rover's frame. Why the hell were all those boxes there anyway? It's where the people who worked in the city beneath the pole lived. To live in those conditions, you better have insulation. Or some damn thick skin. Maybe. Though the city shouldn't have been under the pole back then. It was nearby, not underneath. All the damn turmoil must have really fucked with the ice's structure. Only thing that's important, though, is you bringing those boxes back to me so I can make my baby cold weather resistant. Oh! <laughs> 
Hi. Zachariah, to what do I owe this privilege? I helped free your brothers. Everybody? Did you save everybody? Yeah, every one of them, safe and sound. My... Oh, Zachariah, Zachariah, you are priceless! All the lives you have saved, all the good you've done, thank you! <laughs> However, with my thanks, may I also ask another favor? Of course. Our growing nation is still trying to find itself. We can't continue to endure something that we feel is not true. But at the same time, we have this yearning to look to the past to help explain our creation. And you want me to help with that somehow? I'm not sure... We are undertaking research in attempt to understand the ties that still bind us to the settlers. Ah, and you want relics? Yes, to understand our connection to the past. But not just any relics. I've heard of two particular relics that might enlighten us, that might point to mutation before the turmoil, and that could finally cement our understanding. Not the kind of relics you find in a thief's inventory. No. From what I've heard, one's in Ophir, the other Noctis. All right. I can try to find them for you, but just trust me. More often than not, relics don't give you the answers you hope they will. Sorry, pal, can't go through. Priest ordered us to let no one through. No one includes you. Repent! We won't have access to the Blue Paradise so long as we are not all absolved of our sins! You came here to wash your soul? I had something else in mind.
Unfortunately, this is beyond my skill level. Ugh! <laughs> 